In this video, I will show you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the Flip Fluids add-on. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so first you need to install the Flip Fluids add-on. Go to Preferences, Install, and then you can find a link to the add-on in the description. And then install the experimental version, and then install add-on. And then let's enable the add-on, and then you need to restart Blender so that it installs properly. And then next, we're going to go to Preferences, search for the add-on. And then next, we need to enable the developer tools. Next, we need to install the Mixbox plugin for the colors. So we install Mixbox. It's in the same folder as the experimental version. Okay. And then next, we can restart Blender, just to make sure. Okay, so now we can get into the actual tutorial and let's start off by turning this cube into a domain in the Flip Fluid settings. Press S to scale and then S then Shift Z to scale it on the X and Y axis. This is the border of the simulation, so make sure it's quite big. And then you can create a new blend save. You can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then for the uh, mixing of the colors, we need to go to Fluid Surface and then enable color attributes and enable mixing. And the mix rate next to it controls how fast the colors mix. Now that we have the color mixing settings set up, we can now go into the fluid settings and enable viscosity, surface tension and sheeting effects. And then under viscosity, we can set the base to one and that way we get the paint-like viscosity rather than the water-like viscosity. And also make sure to add a cube and turn this into an inflow object. And then for this one, we're going to make it blue and then export animated mesh so that we can control it with an empty. And since the object is going to move, we can increase the sub-step emission value and then press number at seven for top view and then press shift D to duplicate and X to move it on the X axis. And then we can press Shift D again and move it to the other side on the X axis. And then let's make this one red. And then this one green. So that we have the RGB mixing. And then press Shift A. And then we're going to add an empty to control them. And then press G, then set to grab it on the Z axis and then select the uh, three cubes by holding in shift and then select the empty and press control P and set those objects parent to the empty. And then you can press R and then set to rotate it on the set axis. And then press number seven for top view. Press G to grab. And then we can press N and then I and I to keyframe the location and rotation. And then we're going to save one more time. I'm also going to uh, increase the size of the cubes. So press S to scale. And then I'm going to go to one of the later frames. Press number at seven, press G to grab, and then press R, then set to rotate it on the set axis. And then press I and I to keyframe once again. And then we can go to the last frame and press G to grab and then R then set to rotate the empty on the set axis and then I and I to keyframe. If you want to, you can also press T in the timeline to make the keyframe interpolation linear so that the speed is constant, but I think it looks more natural with the Bezier type so that it speeds up and slows down again. Okay, so now we have everything we need for the uh, actual simulation. So uh, let's go into the bake settings and we can increase the resolution of the uh, simulation to increase the quality of the bake. So let's set it to 120. And after a few minutes of baking, you will have this simulation. Okay, so next we can go into the render settings, switch to cycles. If you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. 
and then I'm going to set the number of samples to a thousand, which is enough. I'm going to make the background transparent, and then we can add a background image, which improves the lighting of the scene. And you can find a free one in the description. And then when we go into rendered view, you can see that we have the basic lighting, and we can also select the default lamp and turn it into a sun. I'm going to set the strength to six and I press R twice to rotate the sun freely. Next, we can drag the top right corner of the window to create a new window and then create a new material for the paint in the shader editor. And then we just need to add one node. I press Shift A and then add the attribute node. And then connect color to color. And in the name input, you type in flip underscore color. And then we get the colors that we added to the domain previously. And then you can play around with the various settings inside the principal node, such as roughness. And then we can set up the camera. So press Control Alt Numpad 7. And then camera to view. And let's set it around here. Okay, so the next step of the tutorial is to go in to the output settings so that we can set up the resolution and the destination for the render. And I'm going to start off by setting the resolution to 200%, which is 4K, rather than 100%, which is 1080p. Then select a folder for the render output, give the folder a name, select it, give the animation name, and then we can uh, go to render and then render animation. And if you want to increase the resolution even further, you can go in to the uh, domain, reset, and then set the resolution even higher, like 250, which you saw in the final animation. Okay, and then bake. And that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more Blender tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.